Hello again to Okanan Research Channel. Just left you with the uh, part one of the video of getting to the vault. That was video number 28, I think, where we saw how to get to the vault when the system was not triggered. And um, we're going to discover now configuration number two. The trap has been activated. So when the trap is activated in this configuration, as it was for 250 years now, you get water in the shaft going up and down according to the tide because it's directly linked with the seawater. And you get water in, of course, your apparatus here, um, which is the humper, is up because somebody decided or uh, to flood that part, but that's, that's the easy part. Actually, when we say the, the, the trap has been activated, it doesn't really mean anything because it's not happening with the money pit. The money, money, money pit is useless in that story. It's a decoy. The, end, the real entrance is, is that shaft there that's in there, under, under, under the soil somewhere 40 feet from the money pit. That's your real entrance. And when we say it's been triggered, it's not been triggered by somebody foolish who went down and believed there's something underneath. It's been triggered by people. When they left the place, they would action operate that hump, that pole, and let the water in to float here the uh, chamber, the vault, pushing by buoyancy that uh, chest or chamber, and this would create the problem that the entry is not aligned with the whole G anymore, so you can't enter anymore. And I can, I can totally guess that this is armored. I, th I think the, 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 all of those material, construction material, are made from the ship, the sink, or the remaining part of the ship. They pretty much plunder that ship for metal, for wood, for you name it. And the carcass, the remaining, the leftovers, the wreck, they just buried it to hide it, uh, what, what they did and how come a ship is wrecked this on this island. Back in those days, nobody should ever been there. So that's what I believe. So this is armored. And very much armored, I would say, and very heavy. So that barque, that small boat, which is a boat because it floats, and we're talking about sailors, they knew what buoyancy meant and how to calculate buoyancy based on weight and surface area and volume. But that, that's what it is. The, this, this pole is up, the water is in, the water goes there. The elevation of the ocean, this is underneath the earth. This is reflection from Michael and myself. This is under the bedrock. So you can drill whatever you want for centuries. This is under the bedrock, unreachable by, by drills. And this is underneath the elevation of the ocean, whatever tide, low tide, high tide, you're always under. And this thing then brings an accessible, and there is water here that is trapped. The water cannot flush out because that soupap, that valve that you can action from from the surface, there's a screw. That thing is done at the lower. That's probably how it, it's either or, you know, it's, it flooded the money pit and the system could be like in part one, totally open with that, that valve down and that valve up, could be. And people are crazy for 250 years because they believe that the solution is emptying the, the money pit from the water. We don't care, you can leave the water there. The action is here, but the action, and that's where how smart that hydraulic engineering system is, is also about the elevation of the chest of the vault here, of the chamber. And that elevation is due to using the water that's in the money pit or not, who cares, anyways, it's here, by using those two control valves. And those instructions are not in La Formule. They're given in the parchment, in the, the document I showed on my video yesterday, the newly discovered parchment that bring that picture. There are sets of instruction, and we're gonna run them and discover that that set of instruction is tailor-made when the system has been uh, flooding the chamber. So let's have a look. These are the instructions. I managed to decode the first five. And there's more, I believe. There is a number 30, or the word 30 is wrongly used at the side, as I showed in my video about those documents. So there may be 30 instructions. I don't know. I'm guessing the instruction number six, but we'll get back to this. 
So maybe you get something like maybe, you know, 10 instructions to get in and do things to get in and 10 instructions to get out and replace the thing as you found them, maybe. So the instructions are here at the bottom. So instruction number one is enter the shaft. And I'm less and less convinced when they're talking about the money pit. I'm more and more convinced they're talking about that shaft here, this one, the brancard, that one, not the, not the money pit. And again, let's remember first video, this is very high in elevation. This is not very far from the surface. This is a long, long step going down, down, down slowly. And it say in French, fermez la soupape, same word as on La Roche map, shut down the valve. But you don't know where this valve is. It doesn't appear out in the air. So even though they use soupape, which is the French word for valve, it is not the soupape from La Roche map. The soupape from La Roche map is open air. You can find it and it's it's here. It's on lot five, by the way, according to the location dot to dot did. And it's that apparatus we'll use later. So they say, enter that thing and the money pit can be floated. Who cares? You're not going to use it. You're 40 feet away. Enter that thing, go down to the soup up and close it, put it down. It was up. So you still got remaining water here because you haven't touched the second one. Next instruction, open the hole. So the hole is here. There is a hole there somewhere. And again, this is not to scale. This is not to angle. I believe those pipes go back up right to the surface, near the surface. And that reminds me that in one of the shows, some long month ago, years ago, they were digging on the east side uh, and they found some duck there. They didn't know what to make with it. So it could be that system. And if you open that hole, you will find that trap door. Ouvrir la trappe. And underneath, there's a plaque with the letter F. A, B, C, D, where's my C? Must be a C somewhere. Uh, e, F, G, or maybe that's the C. No, I know, I know there's a C somewhere. I may I've hit it. Oh yeah, C is here. C is the, um, C is the hump, the pole. Here it is, C. A, B, C. Then you go D. It's even better than I thought. The hole is here. It is here. The hole, open the hole is here and EF, and I'm going to add one more for this thing to happen, is turn the screw valve, this is a screw valve, you can see the screw, to shut down, uh, it's not to shut the tunnel, I made a, this is wrong, to open the tunnel, actually, sorry about this, to open it up and let the water go out, since you open that trap door and reach that plate and open it, the water will flush down here by gravity going down. And there's probably an aboito system, a huge aboito system at the bottom that would use the tide to flush out slowly but surely every six hours, whatever water was remaining there. So maybe in, in a matter of three, four, six hours, one day, you can flush out the water here to the tide using the tide system. And the valve, clapet valve of the aboito will uh, uh, prevent the ocean uh, going back in uh, during the next high tide. So very interesting is that those step by step on this drawing that I showed yesterday add more instruction than the one on La Formule. La Formule is straightforward. Go down, reach the pole, don't touch it. Go down, reach the, reach the, uh, the um, uh, uh, volt here in the chamber. When all this is flooded, then it is those instruction on those mar parchments, new new things that count, and they explain you how to operate here on the right hand side that flushing system. So at the end of the day, uh, there is a hydraulic mechanism. It works both ways. If somebody flushed it, you can unflush it. Um, it it does kind of mean to me that whatever is in that vault, if it was just money, people would just take it and use it once. I think this place is to be visited when things happen in the world, when people need to be initiated about something, when some knowledge needs to be revealed, but not to everybody and only a certain group of people are, should be knowledgeable. And every 50 years, every 100 years, every whatever, people go in there and pay a visit to this place. But if it was just money, you would need to have that mechanism. You would bury it very deep and you'd be the only one to know. Where. This is to be reused with instruction and to be reharmed after you left. There's, 
there's an after you leave, please close the door properly type of thing with that system for the next one. So it's okay to get in there, get the knowledge, go back. And people 50 years later, if they know how, can do the same and go back and please close. I mean, shut the door when you leave, definitely. This also tells us that those documents are linked and individually, they could be considered as hoaxes. Together, they just corroborate the information of one another. They were not discovered at the same place by the same people. They were sought after and looked for by a group of people, including Mr. Roux and those guys. Tim McInnes is involved because he wrote underneath the La Formule that text. Later, I think, he didn't write the formula. I think La Formule is the oldest, like the 90-foot stone. This is 300 years old, at least. I believe La Rochefoucauld map is more recent, and it gives you indication on where are located each and every one of those features. I mean each and every one. The trou sous la trappe, we understand what it is. It's described in the map instruction. La soupape is described in the map instruction, and it's obvious here by drawing. Le bassin, le barrage, the bassin is here. That's where the water goes. Le barrage, that's le hamp, probably. La hamp, that's where you would block and make a barrage. La ancre, we know what we use them for. We use them to draw the system and find the entrance of the money pit exactly by finding the stones. Le triangle de Peter, we know where it is and we know what it's useful for, for that um, alignment between triangle of Peter, uh, the money pit and the Northern Cross. La voûte en bas de terre is the vault. That's what we're looking for. I mean, everything's there. Everything indicated exists, corroborates with all those documents. Um, astonished, because I had those documents in hand, all of them, for a long time. I never made the link. It's only when Michael finished, because we consider it is pretty much finished with the geography and the geometry and finding those points by crossing circles and tangents, and we got the points. If we had the GPS coordinates of the Northern Cross, we'd be perfectly on those points down to the, to the centimeter, to the inch. Um, so the surface work is done. Underneath, we always wonder what was underneath. And it seems, it seems it's wrong. And I tend really to believe that no need to dig vertically on that thing. That thing was either a service shaft to work the Smith Cove connection and start digging underneath there. But stop wasting time on the money pit. It is not there. It is this. And nowadays, since everything's been destroyed and dynamited, our best luck is to dig on the... 45, 522 point, which is where the hump is, because we need to access that thing to block the water from the chamber. And then we just walk the corridor anywhere you are. One day of work. If we locate correctly the 45, 522, and if we get the authorization from this gentleman on lot number five to access that screw, if it's down, if it's not down, we don't need his authorization because it will let the water through. But if so, and if it would collaborate, then we just put that screw down, find that entry around the C point, and we get the location corroborated by the La Rochefoucauld map. The compass center, when positioned correctly, is the 45522. And you just go there and you make sure that your pole hump is at the is down position and you walk to the vault. If the whole vault is at the top position and you cannot enter, just go back up, turn that screw, wait for a tide or two, come back in, it will be in the right place. As easy as that. Stop wasting billion dollars. <laughs> Love you guys. Take care. I hope uh, that was a thrill for you. It was a thrill for me. And uh, there'll be more because we got so many now new object and analysis and cross checks and that are available. We're going to enjoy. You can expect a video from Michael very soon. Take care. Love you all. Um, please subscribe. It helps us. Bye bye.